All right, hey y'all. This is just a quick um, thing to show you how to do explicit equations on your calculator. So I've given you an in out table, input output. And 4, 9, 6, 13, 1, 3, negative 2, negative 3. That one would take a while to figure out the pattern. There is a pattern, there is a rule, but it's more than just times 2, times 4, or minus, or plus. It's, it's involved. So there is a way to do it on the calculator. So make sure you copy down these steps. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Stat Edit. So when you press Stat Edit, you're going to bring up List 1 and List 2. You're going to put your X values into List 1, your input. So 4, 6, 1, negative 2. That's going to go in your List 1. In List 2, you're going to put your Y values, which are your output. So I don't know if you can see my calculator, but you're going to put your values into List 1 and List 2. Once you do that, you're going to press Stat again. And you're going to arrow over to Calc, the second option. So you're just going to arrow over one to Calc. Once you get to Calc, you're going to do number four, which is a linear line, a linear regression. It's going to give you a, uh, um, an equation for a linear graph. And all the ones we're doing right now are linear equations. So you're going to go to number four. And when you press number four, it's going to say line... And then it's going to have AX plus B. You hit enter two times. And it comes out and it gives you, for this example, it tells you Y equals AX plus B. And then it tells you A is 2 and B is 1. So remember, before I told you Y is output, X is input. So you can rewrite this equation as an output input by substituting Y for output and X for input. So it would look like output equals 2 input, and remember the 2 comes from the A, so 2 times input plus 1 would be your B. So this is your rule. So what that says is 4 times 2 plus 1. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 1 is 13. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So this is the rule, 2 times the input plus 1, and we got that from our calculator. So you're going to have a chance to practice this in class, but here are the steps and the buttons that you do.